Hi, welcome to the part two of this video series. In this part, we will look at some more questions related to Tableau CRM and Einstein Discovery Consultant exams. These are all latest questions. As usual, please focus on the concepts. Please subscribe to my channel. I will be putting some more contents related to this exam. So let's see question number 11. For questions 1 to 10, please refer part 1 of this video series. I have anyways created a playlist. If you go to the start of the video or the playlist, you can just play the playlist and all the videos of this exam will play in sequence. So question number 11. This talks about Einstein discovery story. So the first option here is wrong because it is just talking about some event. It's like your grandma telling you the story. That's not a discovery story. So A is absolutely wrong. Let's see option B. So option B talks about graphs, statistical analysis and text and which helps you understand relationships which is fine between multiple outcome variables so this is wrong this is where i see a problem a story one story is about one outcome variable and not multiple outcome variables the factors can be multiple that influence those variables or that influence that variable a single variable it is not multiple variables that's why b is wrong on the same lines d it looks correct because it gives you graphs, statistical analysis and text and it helps you understand relationships between a single outcome. So this underlined text, this is important. One story is about one outcome variable. One story is not about multiple outcome variable. So one story, one outcome variable. It is just like a story if you are talking or if you're narrating a story to someone when you narrate it you have a protagonist and that is a single character it's just like your bollywood movies if you watch tom cruise movies one story is about tom cruise there may be other factors a heroine or villain influencing that character but one story is about one character similarly here one story is about one outcome variable we left option C. So option C is talking about same graphs, statistical analysis and text, but it is using these three stuff to prove exactly what caused an outcome, which is wrong. We are not using this to prove what caused an outcome. We are using it to help you understand the relationships between the variable and the influencing factors. So C is totally wrong. So this is our answer. We lock it and move forward. Let's look at the next question, which is question number 12. So this is an interesting question. So when you are using Einstein analytics assets and when you create a template. So at the time when you are creating a template uh, or sorry, when you are creating an app using a template, what assets are created? So for example, you already have uh, a set of app data flows and so on and you are using it to create a template and when you when you use that template to create an app what happens is uh, if you scan through the options option a so if this is talking about apps the app is created data flows are created data sets are created which looks awesome and dashboards are created but permission sets are something which uh, does not qualify because you can uh, use an app template to create an app but this app is totally different you do not want to share the permission sets you do not want to inherit the same permission sets and you do not want to inherit the same set of users that's why a and c if you see this uh, a looks more correct c is not using data dashboards but also adding users so users anything to do with security is not brought over by the template i repeat 
So this is the rule of thumb. Anything related to security is not brought over by the template, whether it may be users or permissions. So please, please memorize this thumb rule. This is our second thumb rule in this part. The first thumb rule was one story is related to one outcome variable. So we now know option A and option C are wrong because both has security stuff, users and permission sets. Now option D, it says an empty app. So nothing is created. It's just an empty app, which is absolutely wrong. Otherwise, what's the use of using an app template if you create nothing out of it? So in a typical BI world, we usually create a report and then we convert that into a template so that we can inherit a lot of stuff. We don't have to recreate it or reinvent the wheel of each time you're creating a report. The same concept if we use here, because EA, Einstein Analytics is a BI tool. When we use the same concept, why would you use a template to create an empty app? So this is wrong. So this leaves us with one option, which is correct. When you create a template, you are, sorry, when you use a template, you are creating an app, your, your app has data flows, data sets, and the dashboards. And then you can make some changes based on your requirements. So here goes our answer. We can lock this and move forward. Let's look at the next question, which is question number 13. So this question is another interesting one. You have a company called Universal Containers. This company thinks that it knows everything about its business, everything. But what happens is they were using Einstein Discovery. Einstein Discovery is a AI tool and it identified an unexpected pattern. Probably the data was flowing in, some new data came in, which is showing an unexpected pattern. Suppose this is the pattern. Suppose this is a sales pattern. Towards the end of the year in December, due to Christmas, there's a lot of sales happening and hence uh, the pattern shows a lot of sales might happen or would happen. But probably some new data surfaced, which is bringing that, you know, making that stable pattern as unexpected. So what they do is the company, they call in the departmental experts and they're holding a meeting for the next steps with the Einstein consultant. Suppose you yourself one day become an Einstein consultant. So this scenario happens and they, the department heads and the people working in the department, they come to you and they hold a meeting with you along with departmental experts. So the experts can say, hey, you know what, uh, there is some sort of uh, uh, discount drive or probably some uh, customer penetration drive that is being conducted, which is bringing this unexpected pattern. So those kind of insights are with the departmental experts. So what they are asking is what should the consultant advise as the next action? So let's scan through the options. The first one says consult a data scientist for further analysis. So data scientist alone, uh, I mean, we will not do it. See, you already have a Einstein consultant. Okay. So what they're saying is over the top of it, you consult a data scientist as well. Uh, for further analysis. This could be one of the steps, but uh, let's look at other options if we find a better answer. So determine if the pattern is a data issue or a new insight. So this is the first immediate step we would do because, you know, we are getting these departmental experts. You see these, these departmental experts along with Einstein consultants and we are holding a meeting. So what would be the outcome of this meeting? It might be that there is a data issue. The probably the Einstein consultant says, you know, there is some unexpected data, or or somehow the scheduled jobs were run twice, or the scheduled job didn't complete in time, so it just has half the data. Some sort of uh, pattern you will have to understand whether it is a data issue 
and if everything is okay and it's not data issue then you'll have to see if this is a new insight which you will have to factor in in your prediction maybe there is a new insight the the market dynamics has changed maybe there is a new competitor which is eating up your market share and you will have to probably take it with a pinch of salt so since b is more correct as a first immediate action a a can be an action post that but the first immediate action would be to determine whether it's a data issue or a new insight let's look at option c filter out the data that causes an unexpected pattern so suppose you you're getting some unexpected data from particular region suppose from california you're getting unexpected data so what it says is you filter out so now you have removed all the uh, data coming from california you have removed it and then you analyze the new results so what's it that doesn't help you help you because you know why would you filter it out uh, because if you do that then you are removing one good chunk of data from your analysis and that is not going to give you a good prediction so c is definitely wrong d d says forget about you know doing an analysis whether it's a data issue or new insight accept it as a new pattern and have confidence that einstein knows the business as accurately as a customer see this is a wrong statement any tool whether it be einstein or any other ai tools they do not know the business as good as the customer they do not know it any tool will not know it because tool is just a tool just an application it is still not a replacement of the human being so we will lock this answer and move forward uh, let's look at question number 14 so this one uh, talks about like which three parameter so when you are using compare table formula so there are which three parameters can be used this is a question this is a compare table question which three parameters can be used so the first one says calculation so that is definitely there because compare table is used to create a calculation or a formula so a looks correct b says uh, column color we have nothing to do with column color when you are uh, creating a formula field you don't have to do a column color you see here this piece there is nothing there is no formula sorry there is no color required this is where you create a formula no color required there is no option to give a column color so b is wrong let's look at c so format yes this is right format is required if you see this documentation here the last step they are giving it a format the format is percentage so that the final figures it is displayed in percentage this one so you are giving the format you have options to give the format so format is correct and we need one more out of length and column name so we do not have a parameter for length um, length is wrong column name so in this documentation you see this dtc opportunity so we have given a column name called or the name for the formula dtc opportunity and if you see here you can select the columns if you refer this column name or a formula name or if you want to refer this as a column name so that you can select which columns to be there in the formula you can do that here either ways you have an option so column name is correct so these are the right answers we will lock it and move forward so this is another thumb rule that you should note that there are three parameters to consider when creating a compare table column name format and calculation let's see the question number 15 so what is the max analytics api calls per user per hour so you will have to uh, you know make sure that you understand these limits so if you see here the max is 10000 here so you will have to uh, 
mug up these numbers so uh, 10,000 is a good number uh, if for each user uh, per hour because API calls like what more API calls you would make in an hour 10,000 is enough for that you don't need a 50,000 or 1 lakh or 100k and 5,000 for a max limit would be a bit less so 10,000 is correct that is what the standard number is given kindly subscribe to my channel this brings us to the end of part two see you in the next part